So as we walk the path of spiritual awakening, uh, it's often the case that there are moments where after we've experienced the power of our own light, our own brightness, the immensity of it, that sometimes we come to fear it because of its magnitude. Um, know that this is not unusual. Know that you are not alone in this experience when it happens because it does happen. And so <clears throat> if that's ever happened to you or if that's happening to you now and that's been one of your blockages in stepping forward and really uh, walking in through your power and being more of you, then I wrote the following words just for you. Anytime you fear your light, hear these words, hear them deep, let them sink through your body. Your light is so damn bright, it can and will annihilate you. But that's only the little you talking and fearing. There is a way bigger part of you that knows your light cannot and will not harm you. That is the eternal you. That is the part of you that calls you to muster all your courage and carry on in life when you've been knocked down 101 times. That is the part of you that invites you to stand taller, walk stronger, be bolder. That's the part of you that knows there's no such thing as failure, only experiences. That's the part of you that exists beyond labels and roles. It always was, always will be, and always is. Nothing to prove, nothing to attain, just full and complete presence. This is the part of you that longs to be shared with others, for it is the most beautiful expression of life's longing to know itself, happening uniquely through you. And that, my friend, is worth surrendering to <clears throat> every time. For you are so beautiful. Peace, be well. Be the love. Be the love. Be the love. <laughs>